traffic potential. It's why I use Ahrefs with SEMrush in my keyword research. Repeatedly on this channel, I sing the praises of SEMrush. It's a tool I use every day, and it's the one I encourage my students to purchase. It's the best by far, but it doesn't do everything. Today, I'll cover why I also invest in Ahrefs and why if you're serious about SEO, you might want to also. My name is Leslie Peterson, and I help professional bloggers stop chasing shiny new trends and grow their business consistently and with a plan. One of the most important steps in creating new and updating existing content is to really do your keyword research. And listen, if you want my full content update checklist to combat content decay and plug your leaky buckets, you can download it for free from the link below. Bloggers generally have the freedom to pick and choose keywords a little more than typical businesses do, right? So we look at keyword volume, keyword difficulty, and keyword intention when narrowing our content selections. Difficulty and intention are the most difficult for newer SEOs to wrap their head around, but today I want to show you a sneaky little secret about keyword volume using Ahrefs. Because here's the truth, when it comes to volume, larger might not be better and small might not be bad. And that's why I love, love, love Ahrefs traffic potential number. Look at this screenshot for the term low light houseplants. Now, probably not a term I'd pick to write. The difficulty is really high and the result set volatility is really low, meaning those that right now kind of own that term and it'd be really hard to change that. But let's just look at the keyword volume of 6,400. That's a pretty spectacular volume, no? Amazing. But look at the traffic potential number, 52,000. That's insane. So what is that number and why does it matter? Traffic potential is the sum of all the organic traffic that the number one ranked post for that term is getting. They estimate it based on the keyword volume for all the terms that the post is ranking for. So in this case, if I take the number one ranked post and I put it in SEMrush, I can see that it ranks for 2,500 terms. So add up the organic traffic for all of those terms for position one placement and you get 52,000. Before I show you a few more examples of this from my own blog and some examples of the reverse happening, if you're finding this video helpful, please like this video and subscribe to this channel where I share videos just like this, just for bloggers every week. And if you're really keen to learn more, join our very active private and free Facebook community using the link below. Okay, as I promised, I'll show you a few examples of this from my own blog, from least extreme to so extreme, it's gonna make your head spin. First, road trip games. The volume's 12,000, the potential's 11,000, just a little bit lower, probably because Google shows a ton of sidebar ads that people might be checking out instead of opening the posts. Next, SEMrush shows a volume of 9.9 thousand, not that different. You can always expect some variability between the two apps because they really calculate it differently. Now, my own search blog. We held position one for this term for a long time until BuzzFeed just usurped us. But you'll see we had a little over 103,000 page views, about 8,500 a month. Seems a little low since we were position one for most of the last 12 months, but it's not too far off. Breckenridge at Christmas is a little more skewed, but for the better. If I only use SEMrush, it says 140,000, um, I'm sorry, 140 a month. Not worth writing. Ahrefs says 20 a month, but with a traffic potential of 880. So I wrote it just this year in October. And it started ranking pretty well, pretty fast. We were wavering back and forth between position two and three. So you'd expect less than 880 per month, right? Nope, over 1,100 Google clicks in December. And just for the record, it was just as high in November. But this will blow your mind. Stay with me because this is insane. Helen is a little town in Georgia that we like to visit in Christmas. In fact, a few Lifetime Christmas movies were filmed there and our entire family was in one. So we wrote a post about loving that city for the holidays, even though the numbers looked pretty bleak. SEMrush says the volume is 70. 70. I would normally not give a 70 the time of day. However, if we look at Ahrefs, the potential is 5,100. 
Can you see that? Do you see the difference? See how you have the opportunity to capitalize on terms that others might ignore if you know the Ahrefs secret. But that's not all. Here's my December traffic from that post, over 26,000 page views and over 92,000 page views for the year. That's about 7,600 page views a month, which is far more than the 5.1,000 that they estimated, but worlds away from the guess that SEM Rush gave us. Before you go, let me show you two more things. It doesn't always work that traffic potential is better. Take best view of Florence, Italy. It shows low in SEM rush, it shows low in ATRAF, and the pot traffic potential is low too. It's a deadbeat term from an SEO perspective, but it's good to know that. And another extreme example is Boutonier, 103,000 for the search volume. That's a ton. But the traffic potential is only one one thousandth of the search term, probably because most people are just looking up how to spell that word. My point is this, if you can only afford one tool, SEM Rush is it, hands down. But if you want to also see the possibilities for what might look like loser terms that can really be cash cows, Ahrefs traffic potential tool is worth the monthly cost.